Hello my friends and welcome to Open Studio D and today is official opening and closing days. Actually closing day because we are closing winter season and migrating or moving toward uh, the plain air season and this will be the official day of opening the plain air or open air season. So let's get started. Here we go! So what is closing and what is opening? What are we closing, what are we opening? So we are closing a winter season. Basically winter time, majority of the time I paint inside. I, I don't like cold, I don't like painting in the snow. I'm, you know, I'm sorry, some artists telling me like, oh, you're not playing there, artist. You know, I'm artist, I'm not playing there, I'm not studio, I'm a mix. I will paint whatever convenient for me, whatever I feel comfortable painting, that's it. So I don't paint in the snow, even though sometimes people hear a Russian accent and they be like, wow, you probably love painting outside and with minus degree. No, I don't. I hate actually painting in the snow. I don't paint in the snow because I'm freezing. So what's, you know, I can go outside, take a pictures, suck all this atmosphere, suck the, you know, the, the coldness and for 15 minutes, no more than 15 minutes, then go to my car, drive in, the, in my studio, load the pictures, I remember everything, everything is in my mind, uh, just remembering the scenery and everything, smell, the car passing by and everything, and I can paint inside in studio, probably same day or next day. So this is my studio workflow uh, in the winter time. The spring, fall and summer times are completely different. I really enjoy, I don't mind, I'm from country, I'm from Crimea actually originally. This is country like a Florida, uh, except that we have a dry climate like Arizona and I, you know, heat for me or temperature is like hot temperature for me is nothing, I can handle it. So I love painting outside. Uh, and uh, today I'm just looking outside with my windows and the weather is beautiful. I, today I decided, you know what, today is a day. Let's close the winter, let's, you know, um, graduate the uh, studio, winter studio palette, move the paint to uh, my trusty number one easel that I'm using right now constantly. This is, uh, I'll do a review of this easel later on, but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep a secret. So this is my number one easel. So I'm gonna transfer all the paint to this easel. I'm gonna put this easel for winter, I call it the winter palette easel to my shelf. And from now on, I'm going to use this easel. Basically, it's gonna sit on my desk. Uh, when I'm painting in the studio, uh, if it's raining outside, if I'm going outside, all I have to do is just close it, put it in my backpack, go paint outside, come back, put it on my desk, and this basically I'm using this constantly. I'm not, you know, jumping to this easel to this easel because I have to kind of accustom to colors uh, of the palette, to locations and everything else. This is much easier to uh, to go with, you know, with my workflow if I'm using the same easel in a certain period of time. So let's do official closing the winter time and let's do the opening of these plain air, meaning open air. Plain air means, you know, in French it means open air, painting outside in, the, in the open air. Uh, so let's do it. Even though there is not much paint on this palette, but I just, you know, I'm gonna make sure it's not drying. Uh, it's not a waste of the, you know, of paint. So I'm gonna transfer the colors from, or paint from this to this, uh, my uh, prolific painter, um, Day Tripper easel, and I'm gonna take it actually outside. I've got to mention, we're going actually outside today because the weather is beautiful. We're going outside on scouting, location scouting. So we'll be looking for a new location to paint when weather is great. We we'll already have locations. I normally put those you know, locations um, in, on my schedule and I'm not scratching my head, driving and didn't know what to paint. Um, if, I, if I'm going in my car, I know exactly where I'm going. I know exactly what I'm going to paint because I have a pictures. I analyze, I work on my, uh, my uh, composition of this painter. So I'm actually, it's not like I'm going as an amateur uh, photographer. They go and just snap, 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 and then they spend hours and hours cleaning all this mess. Uh, my approach is very different from that approach, amateur approach. I used to do uh, four by five, film photography, which is, you know, you take one shot and you work on that shot for a long time. So I do the same thing in my uh, uh, paint, you know, when I paint. 
I will find location, I will take a snapshot of this location, I will learn that location, uh, and then I will study that location, I will work on the composition, and then if I'm going to paint, I already, I'm ready, I know where I'm going and I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, and just, I'm trying to different variances of that location, maybe composition, but this is my goal, paint that location. So, let's transfer the oil, uh, the paint, and let's go outside. Now we are officially in plain air season. So my plain air e uh, easel right here on the table and when we're going outside, and we're going outside right now to scouting on different locations. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going. Uh, we can go north to Pennsylvania or we can go to Eastern Shore, which I love. Maybe Eastern Shore, yeah. Water, a beautiful sunset. Maybe we'll go there. So we are ready to go on location scouting and I decided to go to uh, Oxford, uh, Maryland. So an Eastern Shore, a beautiful place, a lot of boats, a lot of water, so you will see it. As you can see, we just got into Oxford right here, and uh, I will show you this small town, beautiful town, very small, literally like 20, 30 streets. Uh, but uh, Oxford is uh, one of the uh, locations for Eastern uh, Plain Air, one of the famous uh, Plain Air Festival uh, competition. So a lot of uh, artists actually painting here. They have ferry. I will show you all around. So a beautiful place. I come here with my wife normally uh, regularly actually uh, every Saturday just to paint uh, take the photographs uh, find location and so on and so on so let's get inside the Oxford and walk on the streets and see what they have what we're going to do is to um, walk on the streets of um, Oxford and I'll show you several locations that they normally paint uh, the houses and you know uh, all around the beauty of Oxford so let's get started Each street has access to um, access to water, so we're actually approaching right now one. I can show you right behind, right behind the street that is actually going to to the water, to the bay.
So we just passed the sunset and um, the one last thing I would like to show you is the ferry, the Oxford ferry that is going to another side of the bay or river. This is not a bay actually, this is a river. Sorry for dark video. Um, it's getting dark, so let's go to ferry. I will show you the ferry. So if you'd like to paint a uh, small colonial houses, streets in very, very friendly environment, uh, or you like to paint boats, um, boats or marines or yacht uh, shops or whatever they call it, repair, boat repair shops, or just water, welcome to Oxford. You have to visit the Oxford. It's a beautiful place. Of course, it's not compared to Maine or northern part of East Coast, uh, where you can find a lot of like fishing boats. It's it's it is not. I mean, you can't compare it. But we love, you know, I love this place. Same as uh, St. Michael's, uh, Cambridge, the Eastern Shore. It's it's beautiful for water, for boats, for marines, for like very uh, quiet and very friendly, I would say, very friendly environment. And to be honest, to be honest I just realized it's so, so quiet. And summertime, this place is packed. Uh, so many uh, visitors. Looks like a lot of people coming here. It is a beautiful place to paint. I can tell you that. If you want to paint, stay tuned. Uh, Open Studio D will be hosting plein air paint out uh, event. It will depend on allowance uh, for Maryland regulations with like COVID and all this stuff. Uh, but definitely we'll paint. I also invite you, I would like to invite you in July, um, Eastern plein air competition or festival. Uh, a lot of great artists are coming to paint and they normally paint in Oxford as well the same as the St. Michael's um, Oxford, Cambridge and Talbot County so you can meet with them when they paint if you can find them you probably can find them because they will be everywhere and have a conversation so I hope to take some interviews of the artists I already agree with several in, Ju in June, and actually in July when they will be here to take the interview and talk about painting and all this good stuff. Mm -hmm. 